I'm Mandy Bachman. I'm from Clarksville, Texas, and I'm an IDPA master class shooter for Team Wilson Combat. Usually on my off day from going to the gym, I like to run down the county road that I live on, about four miles or so. I enjoy it. it it's quiet. It's peaceful. It just gives me time to, to clear my head and, and get organized and focused on the week to come. When I started to notice a major shift in my shooting performance was when I started to really take my health and fitness into a deeper consideration. When you look at the top shooters in pretty much every shooting sport, they're athletes. And when I started working on becoming more of an athlete, that's that's when the progress in my shooting, I mean, just skyrocketed. I mean, I, I became master class. You know, I mean, it, it jumped up pretty quick. What I basically do is on Mondays, I work on legs. Legs are gonna be what powers you through a stage. I've shot matches where you had to jump up on top of stuff or jump off of stuff, and you wanna have that coordination to be able to do that. I actually um, box on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and that's helped me a lot with my upper body strength, my back, my shoulders. Wednesdays, I focus on core. I'll sometimes throw in some, you know, some weights and stuff with that as well, maybe do a little bit of arms if. I'm not sore enough from the day before boxing. Um, box jumps, you know, you're looking at cardio, you're looking at using your calves, your thighs, everything um, in order to jump up onto the box. And I do um, the battle ropes. So um, the battle ropes are great cardio. They're great for your arms, your back strength, which all comes into play whenever you're shooting. So, you know, the more upper body strength that I have, the better I'm gonna be able to um, control what I'm doing when I'm shooting. When I go to the range, what I work on is usually based on my performance at a previous match. I'll even put on my whole competition setup, my shorts, my jersey, my shoes, belt, everything, because I want it to feel exactly like it would at a match. My main competition pistol is my full-size CQB Elite. It's chambered in nine millimeter. It's versatile, you know, I can, I can shoot it in IDPA, I can shoot it in USPSA and be very competitive in both sports. Same gear setup, same gun, everything pretty much transfers from one sport to the other. I go through a lot of ammo. Uh, I usually shoot about a thousand rounds a week on a normal training week. I've started reloading my own ammo. All my ammo is match ready. It makes things go really smooth. I can just pick up and go. So one drill that I like to do just to kind of see where I'm at, you know, if my speed's getting any better, my hits are getting any better, is I like to do the five by five drill, which was designed by Bill. It's got drawing from the holster. It's got a reload in it, so you're you know, testing those reload skills, making sure that reload's smooth. Um, headshot, you know, you're under pressure, you're trying to get it done fast, so you've got that headshot that you have to get in at the fastest speed that you can do it successfully. Sometimes the place where we lose a lot of time is moving from one position to another. Um, you have to be aggressive on your movements, and that's something that I work on almost every time I go to the range, is going from one shooting position to another shooting position. I'm working on making sure that I'm on target as I go into that position, so I'm ready to fire the shot as soon as I get there. I'm all about setting goals. I think if you set a goal, it gives you something to work towards. Um, when I first started shooting in 2015, my goal was you know, to, to finish a match. And now, you know, 2017, I'm a master class shooter, which that, that became my goal last year. My goal now is to continue to place, you know, high in the rankings. Winning that ladies national title would be amazing to me. But I can't work on these goals right now if I'm sitting here talking to you. So let's go to the range.